Uh, hi everyone, this is our uh, presentation for the deep learning course, CG code generation implementation model based on code T5. Uh, this is our timeline. We are mainly focused today on milestone one. As you can see here, we have a lot to do, uh, but we're mainly concerned about summarizing the problem statement, the related work, and showing you the work done and the observations we have for you. Uh, for the problem statement, I will leave uh, Kiru uh, the floor to explain to you. Okay, so now as a first glimpse of looking to this code, you will not fully understand what it does and you may have troubles to understand it, but with now, you can understand it simply by reading those two lines of code. This is our problem statement, which is creating a, a comprehensive code using AI uh, by commenting the generated code. So the related work, we first started by working with the SOTA, but it was the uh, commercial, so we couldn't have the weight. So we moved to code BERT, but it has no code generation uh, uh, option. So we moved to the code uh, geeks, but it, it was perfect, but it was written in Chinese. So it was very hard to deal with. So we moved to paper synthesizing benchmarks, but it was not feasible due to its vast size. So we moved to code T5, which was the ideal option for us that we are currently working on. So uh, the proposed updates, uh, as uh, mentioned in our proposal, uh, mainly you have the documentation, uh, which is Kiro explained, and uh, we need the hyper uh, parameter tuning uh, because adding a new ta task requires this. Uh, so the differences, Kiro just explained them. As you can see, the animation uh, explains it all. And our new task, uh, the code T5 task that is responsible for generating the code is called concode. Our new task is called concode plus. Uh, these are some of the initial results we found. Uh, the model code T5 is trained on 8.35 million code uh, snippets, and we're mainly concerned with code T5 small, which has 60 million parameters. Uh, also, code T5 small, these are the matrices we found, uh, the exact match, the blue and the code blue, and these are uh, the matrices for code generation task. Uh, this is uh, the uh, loss function. As you can see, it's likelihood uh, with the negative sign, so it is a loss, and this is the explanation. We are given the input mask and uh, the generated output is also an input, which is also masked. And this is uh, the probability, but it is in negative, so it is uh, a loss function. So uh, this is a brief of deploying the model. We cloned the repo, downloaded the data set, et cetera. And then these are the general problems we faced. Uh, that the models, uh, this is a very recent problem. So the state of the art is quickly updated. Uh, Pyush, Pyush Torch setup was actually very challenging. Uh, the collab GPU RAM and the other resources were running out. Um, so this is an example for the collab uh, running out of resources. As you can see here, collab provides 15 gigabyte RAM and this is 14.75 and that is actually a shame. <laughs> so we had to deploy it locally. Uh, this is when we were using collab, uh, but this when we used PyTorch CUDA for running, uh, for using the RAM on the, uh, with, uh, of the GPU and Anaconda for uh, virtual environments. Uh, and we started using the local uh, task. Um, this is uh, a snippet of the code, uh, which resulted in an error, which is size mismatching, and it was solved uh, by uh, tracing each and every file uh, and uh, tracing the dependencies from a hugging phase. Kiro will continue from here. So now after we deployed the model and solved the size mismatching problem, we faced another a weird problem was out of GPU RAM while testing, and we were uh, working on a very powerful machine. So we tried to uh, digging deeper to solve the problem, and it was actually is next, next. It was actually because of this problem, uh, it's incompatibility with parser issue. We used three sitter as our parser, but the the QT5 we use use a deprecated version of three parser. So it was a very challenging problem, but we solved it by uh, trying to download as many versions as possible and experiment with every one of them until we found the one which can be a replacement to the deprecated one that solved the, the post problem for the incompatibility and the GPU out of RAM. Uh, because please next uh, challenge next and this is our current progress with the proposed solution first we we are working on the documentation uh, new task the, our new task is which is documentation so we first 
are going to search for new suitable data set, then modify the our model to su uh, suit this data set. After our research, this is uh, this is the step we are in right now, uh, which is how to add a new task to our model. We will configure it in config.py and then adjust a new reading function and data loading function in utilities.py and then uh, adjust all our reading passes to, to make sure that no conflicts will happen. This and then we will train our model model again on the new data set and evaluate the model uh, using our uh, through our matrices and then fine tune the model and changing the hyperparameters to make sure that these are the best results we can have and then we will repeat until we are making sure that there is this are the best result we are having without any overfitting. Okay, this is the interesting findings for our project. First, this is for uh, our training for the for the model, our fine tuning for the model on the con code task, which is generating code task. Uh, and you can move. This is this is this is the final training loss. This is the final training loss for our uh, for our model. It's 0.256, which was originally 1.5. So please continue. This is uh, for testing the model after we solved the uh, tree setter problem. Uh, and this is testing the model and eval clue metric, please. And this is the matrices we, we got by ourselves, by our test and evaluating. Blue 29.33, code blue 34.26, M 19.6, and uh, EM, and this is our summary. Okay, so we made a model inference by ourselves. So we tried to use the prompt convert from one currency to another using the code, the code T5 base without fine tuning. And this was the result, currency, currency, currency. It, it's just not making sense. After fine tuning the model, we got uh, with the same uh, prompt we use, we got this output double function. Uh, parentheses return 0 0.0 f it's still not very good but it needs much training and much effort to make uh, a well structured code uh, also we worked with model interpretability and using tensor board this is actually not very comprehensive but it's a first uh, first step in using uh, tensor board and we will continue on that in the next uh, milestone so this is our next step with uh, my colleague, Shalane. Uh, these are the next steps. Uh, they are detailed with uh, these. Uh, we, as Kiro mentioned, we were conf configuring the documentation task, as he explained, dating the reading function, files to work on. He mentioned them also. And then we will evaluate the model, fine tune the model, and finally repeat till satisfied output is reached. Um, these uh, are the team member contribution. And as we are very short of time, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us in this email. Thank you so much. We know, we know we were too fast, but we have too much to say and the time was yes. so, so <laughs> slow. So for, uh, yani, uh, forgive uh, us, use us and... for the fast and have a nice day. Thank you.